This DIY mouthwash gets rid of bad breath and plaque. One of the most important features on your face is your smile. It's a fact that everybody wants to have perfect white teeth. Some people wear braces to get them super straight. Others are lucky enough not to need anything special to get those perfect pearly whites. Regardless of what you aim for, having a flawless smile adds a lot to your confidence and how you feel about your own appearance. So, what can you do to make sure your white teeth stay white? What health tips can I use to improve my dental care? Are there any home remedies for plaque removal I can use? Well, let's dive right in. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Bestie and turn on notifications so you never miss our new health tips. And remember, you'll always be flashing those white teeth when you're with your Bestie. So let's examine how to get rid of that bad breath. Having a mouth that is in good shape is not only important for appearance purposes, but it's also important for your well-being. That is to say, having a healthy mouth will make you, well, more healthy. People think to maintain a well-cared-for mouth is just brushing, flossing, and going to the dentist ever so often. But there's something more that you can do that doesn't necessarily require dropping hundreds of dollars in order to prevent plaque from building up. All right, so hold up. What exactly is plaque? For those of us who have never been berated by the dentist, plaque is something you don't want anywhere near your precious white teeth. According to dentalhealth.org, plaque is a thin, sticky film of bacteria that is constantly forming on your teeth. People need to take control of this plaque because too much of it building up on your teeth can cause serious issues in the future. Just to paint you a picture, too much plaque buildup can cause tooth decay, the dreaded dental disease gingivitis, and finally, bleeding gums, yuck. Sorry, I don't mean to gross you out and I don't want you to stress. I'm also not about to sell you a super expensive remedy that is supposed to change your life forever and ever. But the following DIY remedy, backed up by websites like Live Strong and Style Craze, can help you prevent plaque. All right, so do you need to finally learn how to get rid of bad breath? The ingredients for this mouthwash are pretty easy to come by, simple and quick. Heck, you might not even need to go out and shop for it. This is stuff you can find lying around the house. All you really need is the following. Baking soda, salt, hydrogen peroxide, cold and warm water, toothpicks, and a toothbrush. Sounds easy enough to obtain, but wait, isn't hydrogen peroxide that stuff your mom used to put on cuts that would sting and make you cry? Why would you want to put that stinging menace on your teeth? According to the dental professionals at Intelligent Dental, hydrogen peroxide mouthwash can be a godsend or can be a bane. So too much of hydrogen peroxide is never good, but if you stick to the formula, it'll work out very well. On top of that, a study by researchers Jan Winstrom and Jan Lindy, published in the Journal of Clinical Periodontology, found that a mouthwash which released hydrogen peroxide effectively prevented the colonization of filaments, fissiforms, motile, and curved rods, as well as spirochetes in developing plaque. Geez, that was really a mouthful. For those of us who didn't attend dental school, what they're trying to say there is that this method helped patients' mouths stay cleaner. All right, let's explore the way to make this stuff. Doing it properly is important to your dental health, your teeth cleaning process, and your healthcare in general. First, you wanna mix salt and baking soda into a small container. Then, place your toothbrush under some warm running water and swirl the bristles around in a soda salt mixture. After you've done that, brush your teeth normally, spitting out the homemade paste. Now it's time for the mouthwash part. This part takes absolutely little or no effort. All you do is combine half a cup of hydrogen peroxide with half a cup of warm water and swirl it around in your mouth. It should take only a minute or so. So, what exactly is a toothpick for? Well, there's actually a huge purpose for it. After you swish your mouth with peroxide, you want to remove as much of it as possible. The toothpick helps remove the sticky tartar in all of those hard to reach places. People typically do this process once or two times a week. It's a fast and fun way to help prevent plaque buildup. So try it out yourself and see if it works. However, we can absolutely help if you're having some trouble finding some of those ingredients or 
you're too apprehensive to put hydrogen peroxide in your mouth. People are of course concerned with their own healthcare and a name like hydrogen peroxide can be intimidating. There are many other ways to help prevent plaque buildup, as well as ways to learn how to get rid of bad breath, and we'll explore them right now. You'll see a lot of repetition from other parts of this video. However, the methods we're about to explore bear repeating. For starters, you're going to want to brush daily. While this may seem super obvious, the way you brush your teeth is critical. WebMD says that you should do at least twice a day with a round tip bristled toothbrush. Those same good people also recommend you pay close attention to the areas where the gums and the teeth meet, as it can be easily overlooked by the average person. They also recommend that the toothpaste that you use should contain fluoride, a chemical used in dentistry to strengthen the chompers. Finally, a lot of people ask, for how long should I brush my teeth? The people at Colgate tell us we should brush our teeth for two minutes straight to make sure that they're completely clean. So break out those timers, folks, or maybe play a song that's two minutes long so you can ensure you're getting rid of all that nasty plaque. The last couple of methods are pretty obvious. Make sure that you floss, go to the dentist, and eat a balanced diet. Just in case you're a little rusty, we'll help you with a quick refresher on how to floss. Get about 18 inches of the stuff and wrap it around your two index fingers. You can hold it tightly in your thumb and forefinger if you so desire. Next, gently guide the floss between your teeth with a rubbing motion. Don't forget that you should never snap the floss between those white teeth of yours. Once you reach the gum, make a C motion that'll guide your floss into the space between the gum and the tooth. That's pretty much it for flossing. Don't forget the back of your teeth as well. And how about a healthy diet? What foods are best for your teeth? Luckily for you, we've compiled a list of some of the best foods for your teeth. Number five, cheese. Every time you eat food, your mouth is attacked by acids. Cheese, however, is great for combating those acids, making it one of the best post-meal snacks. Grab some crackers and go to town. Number four, fish. So, your teeth need a lot of calcium to stay strong, but your body can't absorb a lot of calcium unless it also has a lot of vitamin D. Luckily, fatty fish like salmon are a great source of vitamin D. Maybe it's time you took your old man on that fishing trip. Just tell your work it's for your teeth's sake. Number three, oranges. You'd think the acidic citrus fruit would be bad for your poor teeth, but you'd be wrong. Turns out, vitamin C strengthens blood vessels in your mouth and slows down the progression of gum disease. So add oranges to your daily diet. You don't want to end up looking like a pirate, do you? Number two, green and black tea. There are micronutrients in tea, known as polyphenols, that destroy plaque-causing bacteria. Our advice, drink tea during or after a meal. It'll reduce the amount of harm done to your mouth by that nasty bacteria. Number one, chocolate. Record scratch. What? Chocolate? Didn't mom always say that sweets were bad for your teeth? Well, she didn't exactly lie, not totally at least. As long as it's 70% cocoa, then it's actually a superfood that strengthens the enamel around your teeth, which means you'll have to eat dark chocolate to keep those teeth white. Weird, huh? If you stick to these methods and diets, your mouth will stay healthy and beautiful for a long time. Do you have any health tips to keep your mouth clean? Comment below and share them with the world. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.